Tired of typing in the same keywords in hundreds of ways to find what you're looking for? Enter Vector Search. For the most part, exactly what you type in a search box is exactly what you get, as far as traditional searching goes. So you may miss results that are related or spelled differently. With Vector Search, data, including words, sentences, images, and audio, is represented with numbers across multiple dimensions. We'll get to that in a moment, but it's this multi-dimensional data that enables more accurate search results that account for context and relevance. Vector search isn't a new technique, but it's having a resurgence because of its importance in Gen AI development. Dig into the details of its role in Gen AI by clicking the link above or in the description below, and subscribe for more videos on all things business tech. While we say vectors are numbers that represent data, they're actually complex mathematical representations. In order to search vectors, they first have to be arranged in what's called a vector embedding, a multidimensional view of data generated by machine learning techniques such as neural networks. The more similar vectors are, the closer together they are in the embedding. For instance, an embedding could represent that cat and feline are more related, therefore closer together in the vector space, than cat and car, even though their spelling is more similar. Overall, Vector Search improves the depth and breadth of searching different types of data, offering benefits like the ability to browse unstructured data, which is crucial for AI model development, recognize context and providing more relevant results, understand the semantics of a search query, and integrate easily with AI and machine learning frameworks. However, there are limitations and challenges for Vector Search, like resource requirements, i.e. high computing power, less accuracy when compared to targeted keyword search, and explainability challenges when compared to keyword search. Vector search can be applied to a wide range of use cases, the most common today including recommendation engines, natural language processing, or NLP, anomaly detection, drug discovery, genomics, image search, and retrieval augmented generation, or RAG, among others. What questions do you have about vector search? How do you see it impacted Gen AI development? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like and subscribe too.